do a slow roll through downtown Brewston, Tennessee to show you kind of what it looks like uh, nowadays. Right over here, first off, we have the old Howard Movie Theater building. And I believe on the side over there where it says uh, uh, Office Products of America, whatever, I believe that was a little cafe over there at one time. Let me zoom in on that a little bit there. I believe that was a little cafe, but that's the old Howard Movie Theater building. It's been closed for several years. I don't know how long. But as we drive on down through here, on the west side, on the west side of the uh, downtown area, this first building here, of course, Case Drugstore, they've since closed and, and moved down onto the highway now. The next building here was the, recently the Brewston Clinic. They've also closed here and moved down to the uh, four lane out on the highway. This next building here, I believe there's a little pool hall in there, a little privately owned pool hall. And this used to be, when I was growing up, it was Juicy's pool hall. You go through that white door there and go up the steps and upstairs there was a Juicy's pool room. Sort of like a private club. We'd all, we all had a key and we could just go in there and shoot pool. I don't know what was ever in this last building here. I'm not sure. I'm sure somebody will be able to tell us. And then, of course, there's some buildings here that have been torn down, and a lot of the bricks and junk remains here where they tore the buildings down. I believe there was a railroad cafe down here somewhere, and again, somebody will know and be able to tell us where that was. It's probably down in this area here somewhere uh, on this vacant lot, or maybe even closer down to the... Uh, to the railroad lot down there. Just down here is the old Brewston City Park. I'll try to get a little video of that little park sometime uh, when there's no kids or anything down there. We'll, we'll try to do that and show you some of the old playground equipment. We still got some real old playground equipment down there that's, that's pretty neat. Anyway, yeah, that's the old railroad, the railroad yard down there. And on the east side of the downtown area, you've got the Brewston Senior Citizens Building. And as far as I know, that's still in use, still currently being used. And the rest of the buildings through here, I believe, are just uh, abandoned and boarded up. Again, somebody will know what these were. You see, they still got the old awnings up there, but they're all boarded up. I believe the roofs of a lot, the roofs of a lot of these buildings have caved in. Uh, I've seen that from looking around the back side of them. Some of them have caved in, and then the second floor has caved in into the basement area of them. But this last building here, this was the first bank building, uh, and they've also moved up on the highway, moved down to Hollow Rock actually this was the first bank bank building like i said it's empty now they've moved down to the highway driving on down a little bit further you got the uh, brewston city hall here and uh, it also houses the police department Bruce and City Hall, and the police departments down here on this end. And you got Templeton Park here. Um, there's no kids down there or nothing. So you got the statue of Mr. Sam Siegel right there. You got the old. l and n train caboose it's been sitting down here for years and this is the opening of the uh, walk through area of the templeton park and then you have the brewston post office here i think somebody told me that years ago this was a store building before it was the post office so Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little drive-through video of downtown Brewston. Uh, 
give it a thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment. Uh, thank you for watching.